21-year-old dies in hospital follow his path through the veil and return. Welcome everyone. I am Samuel, aged 28, and my journey commenced in 2016 when I confronted a formidable adversary known as leukemia. Prior to this, I grappled with enduring symptoms such as pain, night sweats and fatigue. In November 2016, while engaged in a workout session at the gym, an overwhelming weakness enveloped me, leading to a sudden loss of consciousness. Upon regaining awareness I found myself in a dire state, one side of my body swollen, discoloured. Accompanied by my parents, I was swiftly transported to the hospital. Following a series of diagnostic tests, the medical verdict revealed chronic myelogenous leukemia. While this revelation brought distress to my parents, it oddly brought a sense of relief to me, validating my suspicions. Nonetheless, my parents understandably harboured deep concerns for my well-being. The medical team elucidated that an excess of white blood cells posed the risk of progressing into acute leukemia, a more perilous manifestation of the illness. At the tender age of 21, a rarity for leukemia diagnosis, I was presented with two treatment options conventional therapy with the possibility of disease exacerbation or a rigorous inpatient regimen offering a chance to arrest the illness. However, the latter option bore its own perils, including the risk of cardiac complications due to potent medications. Opting for the aggressive treatment, I embraced the belief that every occurrence unfolds with purpose. Despite the inherent risks, I resolved to place my trust in the medical expertise. True to their cautionary words, the onslaught of various medications precipitated a slew of adverse effects, at times rendering me disoriented to my own identity. Subsequently, an encounter with near death unfolded during a slumber. Initially resembling an ordinary dream, I found myself in the company of a familiar figure from my waking life an erstwhile colleague turned homeless acquaintance. In the dream, he remarked, at last, I found a dwelling. Curiosity led us to explore further, yet the abode swiftly transformed, constricting around us until the constriction became unbearable. As agony consumed me within the dream, mirroring the physical anguish of a real-life heart attack induced by medications, I succumbed to death. In the aftermath of passing, his reassurance beckoned a sense of solace. Upon crossing the threshold into an ethereal expanse, characterised by boundless luminosity, I was enveloped in an ineffable tranquillity. Every corner bathed in the radiance of a celestial glow, akin to a realm suspended between the earthly and divine. Abruptly, an unguarded balcony materialised before me, offering a precipitous view of a sombre abyss akin to hell. As I teetered on the brink of descent, the spectral figure from my dream a saviour in disguise intervened, sacrificing himself to avert my fall. At that instant, awareness dawned upon me I found myself ensconced within the realm of slumber, nestled within the confines of a Miami hospital. Yet, this dream surpassed any I had ever experienced, imbued with a startling realism that defied conventional boundaries. The realisation washed over me I had transcended mortality, returning to a realm akin to a long-lost abode. It was akin to rousing from a twenty-one-year reverie, comprehending the earth merely constituted a fragment within this expansive narrative. This newfound understanding enveloped me in a profound sense of belonging and serenity. Although I've returned to my earthly domicile, the vividness of what I witnessed persists with uncanny clarity. It's as though the very essence of existence pulsates with vitality around me, every particle teeming with energy. Casting my gaze towards the bed on my left, bathed in ethereal luminescence, I beheld the visage of my great-grandmother an embodiment of tranquility. Having departed in 2006, following a sixty-year union with my great-grandfather, she emanated an aura of serene repose that permeated my being. Approaching her, seated amidst a radiant halo, her countenance bespoke volumes without uttering a word. I inquired about my great-grandfather's fate, and though verbal communication eluded her, her smile conveyed a profound tranquillity, while the celestial radiance above seemed to impart her response. As the luminance enveloped me, I felt weightless, cradled within an embrace suffused with warmth and affection. In that moment all uncertainties dissolved, replaced by an ineffable sense of unity and comprehension a love and joy beyond articulation. 
A profound sense of belonging suffused me, rendering every detail of my surroundings more vivid, as if I were privy to the cosmic tapestry's every intricacy. Time appeared as an inconsequential construct, melding past, present, and future into a singular instant. In the throes of this revelation, I pleaded, beseeching to remain within this celestial embrace. Yet, as I gazed towards the celestial radiance, its brilliance intensified, obscuring my sight. Though drawn to its splendour, a palpable force restrained me, allowing me to experience the sublime but preventing further ascent, hovering betwixt heaven and earth, on the cusp of embracing the luminous apex above, a voice resonated a divine, ethereal cadence, neither male nor female, yet suffused with an otherworldly allure. Softly it intoned, not your time yet. In an instant, I felt myself receding from that celestial beacon, departing from that wondrous, yet enigmatic realm. Upon my return, I traversed the cosmic expanse at an astonishing velocity, hurtling past galaxies until I descended once more onto the familiar terrain of Earth. Touching down in South Florida, I found myself within the confines of Jackson Hospital in Miami, seamlessly reintegrated into my corporeal form. The transition occurred with such swiftness, eclipsing any semblance of temporal comprehension. Upon regaining consciousness, the presence of my family and attending physicians enveloped me. Tears welled within my eyes as the realization dawned I had traversed the threshold of death and returned. Initially, the experience seemed distant, akin to a profound slumber. It took days for the memories to resurface as though my celestial guardians and higher consciousness had meticulously curated them until I was prepared to receive them. A week later, recollections of my journey beyond mortality flooded back with crystalline clarity, affirming its authenticity. Curiously, months prior to this revelation, I had encountered the homeless acquaintance referenced earlier, despite our previous interaction having occurred nearly a year prior. The synchronicity between our meeting and my near-death odyssey transcended mere coincidence. Subsequently, approximately ten months later, in the twilight of September or October 2017, our paths intertwined once more. Whereas our prior conversations had revolved around banalities such as sports and finances, this encounter bore a palpable shift. Initiating our exchange with customary warmth, I refrained from divulging the details of my leukemia diagnosis or near-death sojourn. Yet, upon his greeting he exclaimed, Oh my God, I must share something with you. What followed was an extraordinary account dating back to late November 2016. He recounted a night's slumber at a bus stop, abruptly disrupted by an ethereal spectacle an immense angelic figure, resplendent with luminous wings and a celestial sword, stood sentinel before him. This divine apparition seemed to guard him, offering solace and protection before vanishing as swiftly as it appeared. Inquiring about the precise date of this encounter, he affirmed its occurrence coincided with my own near-death experience. The revelation dawned while I traversed the ethereal realms, he found himself under the watchful gaze of an angelic guardian, ensuring his safety. This revelation sent shivers down my spine, cementing the authenticity of my transcendent voyage and fostering a deeper conviction in the existence of an afterlife. Many who undergo near-death encounters emerge with a profound shift in their perception of life. For those seeking guidance and support in navigating this newfound perspective, Resources such as Keeps offer invaluable assistance.